It looks very homemade, but it looks really cute. Christmas topper. Yeah. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Come, let's go. Come, go. We came to Target on a Saturday night because we're poor. Because I love Target. Sarah's trying to look for a secret Santa gift because she's got work secret Santa stuff. And this girl loves Harry Potter apparently. Mm -hmm. So there's some. Are these socks for every house? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Griffin, right? no, and then it has just like the crest. Target's such a great place to come if you need last minute gifts. So like, <laughs> not just last minute gifts, but like cool little quirky unique gifts for cheap. I'm just standing here waiting for Sarah to decide which candies are vegan or not. Strange. Yeah. Apparently Skittles and Twizzlers are vegan. So we ended up finding the perfect present for Takea and Venya. We think. We think. Because <laughs> they love this stuff. And they literally have everything. <laughs> they are, yeah, they can get whatever they want. But it's always hard to find presents for them. But we always seem to do well in the end, right? This is what we got. Oh yeah. <laughs> Smile, love. Okay. How are we gonna get this? Oh, this is so heavy. Pull. Ready? One, two, three. To me, to you. Pac-Man? Brings us like, the heck is that? <laughs> Let me check it out. I can't believe it. Like, we wasn't expecting rain today in LA. I mean, you never expect rain in LA, but it randomly started raining and didn't want the box to get like soaking wet. Nathan, of course, scored a discount. <laughs> yep. You know me, it's a sure thing, gotta get that promo. Because <laughs> the box was a little beaten up on this side, which happens when it's such a heavy item like this, and when it's been transported. It's only like a little thing, like a little piece of the cardboard that's ripped off, but I was like, yo, you got any others in the back? And he said, uh, no, sorry, um, this is the last one. So I was like, well, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> And he said, uh, well, you know, if you want to take it, it was like, I'll give you 10% off. Solid. <laughs> sure, sure thing. I'll take 10% off. Because <laughs> that's a sure thing. Get that promo. <laughs> then you know. I... Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Sorry, I'm just uh, relacing my trainers. Um, it is Vlogmas Day. I don't know, and I'm sure you don't really care right now because we've missed so many, but today it is like a week. I don't even think it's a week, I don't even, see that's how I don't even know what day it is. It's the 23rd, so as one would say Christmas Eve Eve. Uh, today, unfortunately, Duke has been a little unwell recently. Um, he got some sort of infection in his tooth and it's kind of gotten worse. Um, he's got antibiotics and painkillers, which has really helped him. He's back to his kind of like normal self. 
um, but he does need to essentially have surgery. So today we're going to go to uh, the animal hospital. Um, we've got an appointment in around an hour. Um, we're going to have a consultation and see what the deal is. I think he needs a dental x-ray so we can actually see what's going on with his mouth and his teeth. Because with canines, I don't know if you're if you're familiar, but canines, the 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 teeth actually lead up into the skull and the brain, and it can affect well, essentially the brain. Like they they can get brain damage if if something's left untreated. So with Duke being an old dog, um, he's nearly fourteen. Well, he's going to be fourteen. Um, it's it's a priority that we actually get this done and, and checked out so Sarah's not here she's at work um, so me and Duke are just gonna take a little road trip right Duke you ready to go on a road trip you wanna go to the dentist okay oh hands up are you riding in the front seat it is so cold today it is 54 degrees which is cold for LA. All my friends and family in the UK but like, bruh, that's still warm. No, I know. That's cold. You ready to see what's going on? Okay, so we just got back home. Um, Duke is feeling a lot better. Hi, buddy. Yeah, it's food. You feeling good? The doctors were pretty optimistic in terms of what everything was going on. So basically half his mouth is good and half his mouth is bad. So he needs half extractions and the other half of his teeth are, he said, were pretty fine. Um, so obviously they couldn't do everything on the day. He needs to get like blood work done to make sure that he's good to go under anesthesia. But yeah, uh, we just gotta wait for an estimate, which is probably gonna be costly. But we've gotta wait for an estimate and then actually book in uh, to get the procedure done. So I guess it's just a wait and see job now. But they did give us more antibiotics. They said that seems to be working well. And the painkiller seemed to be working well on him. So he's definitely perked up. He's more sprightly, he's more lively. Uh, back to his normal self pretty much. And he's not drooling anymore, so that's a good sign. And he's also eating and drinking water, so. He said he's not an emergency case, basically. Obviously with it being the holidays, we can't, is is only doing emergency cases up until the new year and then he said we'll get him in as soon as possible in the probably the first week of january so all good for now um now i need to figure out everything else that i need to do today so like this thing that thing that we got uh the other night for venue and takea for the holidays um i need to get wrapping paper so i can wrap that up that's big and then I also need to figure out how to get it there. Find wrapping paper, wrap it, deliver it. Uh, I feel like I've got to do something else today. Oh, Monday Night Football is on and I'm in the final of my fantasy football with my friend Alex. And if I win tonight, I win the money. Um, I need to do some editing. Here's the thing, because of everything that's going on uh, this year, um, I mean, I'm sure some of you are aware, uh, we, had us, we had to pay off his lawyer basically, because um, obviously we're international. Um, so with my residency status, um, we had to pay for a lawyer to go through all the paperwork basically. Um, so we had to pay the lawyer off, literally in the month of December. We had to pay, obviously for Duke. Duke's teeth happened so unexpectedly. Um, so that came up. Um, it's, it's crazy, we feel as if it's like one thing after the other. So, we didn't know, I don't know if we fully decided on not to get each other anything for Christmas, so. We currently don't have anything under the tree, and nothing to open on the morning. And it's our first one together, and it's a big deal for Sarah. Not the whole thing together, but I mean like, the holidays is one of Sarah's favourite times of the year. So this is a big deal for her, uh, because usually we, we spend it with her family. We're, like Usually we're either over in Texas. Um, we haven't been to London or England at all during the holidays yet. Um, so this is our first one as a married couple together, first one in our first place together. And 
first one in Los Angeles without having any family here. So I know it's a big deal for Sarah and that means a lot to me, you know, so maybe I might have to go find, maybe I might go back to Target and find some stuff in there because I know she did see it something the other night when we was um, when we was looking for her Secret Santa gifts for her work. Um, so I might go back and get her a little surprise gift. It's only going to be small, but you know, as long as she's got something on the day to open up, it'll definitely put a smile on her face. So we'll go check it out. Anyway, let's get things done. Back in Target again. Managed to find some wrapping paper for Avengers present because he likes Marvel Avengers. Got a few little candies for the stocking stuffers. Now I'm trying to find something for Sarah or us joint present. Look at this. You wouldn't believe how busy Target is two days before Christmas. Look at the lines. And I'm just trying to get out. Sarah's texting me. She says extra soy. I said I was gonna pick up Panda Express because I am starving. But if you wanna go to Target and do last minute shopping, don't do it. Thankfully I got in a little earlier after everybody finished, uh, before everybody finished work. But it's like 6.30 right now and everybody's finished work and they're all coming to do last minute shopping. But, bro. No, thank you. Oh, everything is popping tonight. Even Panda was like the line was out of, the line was out of the door. So something amazing is happening right now. This is Monday Night Football. Green Bay 23, Vikings 10. It is December the 23rd, 2019. And I am about to become a fantasy football champion. It's 184 to 155. That's my team. Saquon D's nuts. <laughs> For Saquon Barkley, because my running back. And look how many points Saquon Barkley came through and did for me this week. 52.9 points. And I am winning my championship game against my, one of my good friends, Alex, who is the commissioner of the league. And this is my third season in charge. And I finally, well, I'm about to win. There's two minutes left in the fourth quarter. And I'm about to win that money. Fingers crossed, I'll, I'll let you know in two minutes. I won! I won my fantasy football season. 100% won. 183.96 to 155.9. Four, two. Right in time for Christmas Day. Alex, Hanno, if you're watching this video. You're the best. <laughs> I'm the best, but you're the best. But send me my money on Christmas Day. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, Sarah's just got in the shower. Um, so, that means I've got some time to wrap her stuff, which is right here. Still need to wrap Venue into Kaya's gift which I'm so jealous about. I wish I had this, but there's just no way to put it. Actually, it'd have been cool in that corner, to be honest. Well, maybe we can just borrow it sometime. Venue. Okay, let's get wrapping. Well, that's cool. It's got like little squares on the back so you can line it up properly. I, to be honest, I've never, um, I'm not the greatest rapper. I mean, I've, I've rapped stuff before, but I'm sure there's loads of like official videos on YouTube where you can find out the best ways to rap stuff, but let's see how this is gonna go. I ripped it already. <laughs> this is gonna be so makeshift. I ripped one side of it. I'm gonna have to put like a piece over, over the side. I think that turned out okay. Uh, the only, the only thing that I need to cover is this part. I need to, this part already ripped. So I need to cover this somehow. Here we go. One makeshift version of a corner that ripped. 
But that works, that's a good set. That's a good wrap, I think. <laughs> for a first timer. All right, it's finally all done. At least for now. Still no tree chopper. What time is it? 9.30. Maybe we can try to do that tonight. But yep, we've got a few little bits going on now. That's our holiday season. My love. Yay. I'm all done. Oh, she's painting the nails. Booba! You painting your nails? Oh, look at those nice nails. You should paint your nails. Javi? <laughs> what about your nails? You paint your nails? No. I watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny claws. Let's go see. Look at us. We're still missing a tree topper that we need to do. It's nine thirty right now. We can at least spray the paint the things. We can spray paint it outside. Yeah, but if we spray paint it now, at least it'll be dry for tomorrow then. I got it. I got his feathers to spray paint for the golden snitch's wings and two different ornaments to spray paint. We can do both. I think both. the red one's going to be cute. I think we'll have to check see if it actually fits on top. <laughs> no, it's got that big thing. Well, you can open them with some pliers. Things just like, what's going on? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> you know how I do this, Binks? Because I don't. There you go. I think bending them in might be easier. That works. Uh oh. No, I gotta get it out. Get the ball. Oh, you've lost it. <laughs> it's like I got it. First rule of spray paint in all ways cover the ground. We're not vandalizers. We're not vandalizers. Woo, you want to be gold? Uh, uh, you stay inside, you little <laughs> sneaky sneak. Baby. Spray paint. Bubble. Bubble. Moment of truth. We'll watch. We're oh. watching. Hi, family. <laughs> Binks is like right there. <laughs> He's like creeping behind the door. Oh, look at that snitch. Smells like paint. Reminds me of me, Dad. <laughs> oh, big came out to watch. Nice. This is such good stuff. This is from Target for three dollars ninety-nine. That one looks really good, actually. Like that, doesn't it? My dad. Good. Nice baby. That one looks really good. Thanks. So these are our final creations. They look great, right? Look at that one. I think this is gonna be the better one. That one looks great. Okay, we've got this bauble. And this bauble. And three feathers. So I guess you're supposed to cut the arch inside. So you cut this side off. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, going back now. It ends up looking like this. So you stick it in and it's like a feather like that. Mm -hmm. Like a wing. If your kiddies are watching this video, make sure you do it with a parent. Mm -hmm. Not by yourself. Okay. There we go. That's one side look. That's so cool. Thank yeah. you. It's a, it's a, a bit good. messy, but it's good. It's homemade. For a little homemade makeshift one. <laughs> now I need to cut something in the bottom. Moment of truth. Put us choppers on. Should I cut that off? Go on, buddy. No. <laughs> Can I just cut that part off? Oh, it looks so cool. A little golden snitch. Huzzah! It looks so cute. That looks so cool. 
We did it. <laughs> it looks cool. We didn't think we was going to be able to do it. We thought, oh, this is going to take forever to do. Like, it looks too craftsman like. <laughs> it looks very homemade, but it looks really cute. Christmas topper. Yeah. Let's take a closer look. There you go. That's how to make your own homemade Harry Potter golden snitch tree topper. You can see it all the way from back here as well. Hey Siri, turn the dining room lights off. Done. Oh, it looks so cool. You still gotta open your first present. literally just climbed right under. He wanted to enjoy the tree. <laughs> he said, I'm a present, wrap me up. <laughs> no, that's the present he chose. He's like, choose this one, mom. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the Duke, that's the present <laughs> that Duke chose. <laughs> it says, to Sarah from The Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Ha, I'm here. <laughs> what is it? Feels like a shirt or a dress. They're pajamas! Oh! I love pajamas. <laughs> oh, it's a dress! It's the one that you oh, saw, the yeah. one that you liked. Oh, thanks, baby! You can wear that tonight. I can, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Grinch. Now find the one that says from your wife. I'm pretty sure it's on top of that one. To her be from your wife. Your wife. Oh, the reason we're doing this, by the way, is because we create another tradition where we open one present on the eve, eve one present on the eve, and then the rest on Christmas on the morning. Day. Yeah. Our first tradition. Feels like a box. Oh, please! <laughs> They're pajamas. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear pajamas that much, but but I'm you've been cold lately. I've been wanting one. I've been sleeping in a shirt recently because it's been really cold. Can I put these on now? Yeah. It's a good thing we both got pajamas. We picked right. the right ones. What do you okay. think? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, finally I've got something to wear in the morning. And they're soft. Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Thank you. That's so funny, we both had the same idea. <laughs> Cute. Finally got some sleepwear. What, what? I think that calls it a night for us, really, doesn't it? We're already ready for bed. <laughs> ready for bed, we both got his little pajama set on. Have a good night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, because you know you want to. And you know you want to be a shorty. Bye, shorty. See you tomorrow. Two days till a big day. Hey, yo. Hey, yo.